<laughs> that you know you have to put it inside and what if it gets lost hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel and you've never been here then hi i'm sarah i make beauty videos every thursday and sunday and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time i upload a new video also, if you're not following me on Instagram, then here is my handle. Go follow me there because I share a lot of my personal life stuff over there. So you can connect with me better on Instagram. So that being said, let's dive into today's video, which is an essential Nike haul. Now, this is particularly my essential Nike haul and the same things might not feel essential to you. But I have been really consciously shopping these days. I've not been like binging on makeup shopping, although I miss it so much. I've been very cautious about what I shop, keeping all the ignore condition in mind and also everything I've gotten here even the essentials and the non-essentials they all compiled to be under 2000 so I have been also budget shopping and making some budget choices for my skincare so if you're interested to know what all of these products are then please keep on watching okay so the first thing I picked out was my Indulekha Bringa hair oil now this is an absolute must-have in my hair care kit because this hair oil just helps so much with damaged hair so much with my hair fall and I have been having profuse hair fall in this whole weather situation and with PCOS you just in general have more hair fall so this really promotes hair growth I have seen a difference like I have so much baby hair going on which right now I have like hair sprayed it in place but you can see I have too much baby hair that's because this hair oil is promoting growth uh, so even though my hair is falling it is growing back uh, and that's why I love this hair oil. The only disadvantage that I don't like about this hair oil is the packaging. Right now I haven't opened the in inner seal for this bottle and this is the smaller bottle and it's 234 bucks and it is a little expensive but for what it does this is totally worth it. As compared to any other hair oil I've tried even the concoctions I've made at home this one just beats everything and although this might like I have a love-hate relationship with this packaging because uh, this is very convenient to do like comb through your hair and then just massage into your scalp but once you remove this seal like you take this seal off and you screwed this cap back on and suppose you just keep it somewhere or it falls in your bed or just you end up keeping the bottle with the cardboard in ulta so the oil like completely leaks on onto the cardboard and then onto your surface and then just you're just wasting product this has happened to me more times than I can count like I've wasted two to three bottles of Indulekha because it's just leaked all over the place and if I just keep it like this like don't keep it in the unicarton then uh, there's a lot of dust that accumulates on the oil and then it's not like sanitary to like comb it through your hair so I have a very love-hate relationship with the packaging but the product in itself is beautiful and I think this time I'm not going to remove that seal like not make a hole in it I'm just going to remove it, use it and then put it back so that it doesn't leak hopefully so the second thing I picked up is my Sebamed uh, Clear Face Care Gel this is a holy grail moisturizer it's perfect for this weather because it's super humid right now in Bombay and this is a perfect lightweight moisturizer that sinks into your skin it has hyaluronic acid in it so it really makes your skin look plump adds that glow to your face and I love it as a daytime as well as nighttime moisturizer and also it's so so affordable for what it does I feel it's such a dupe to all the high-end clinic moisturizers surge and all of those but it's just 500 okay so in the whole bargain of trying to switch up to more affordable options I tried to buy a more affordable conditioner if you've seen my hair care routine video you know that I buy really expensive hair care products all my hair care products are like beyond 500 and they like run out every one month so I decided I would go in for more affordable options and what a mistake I don't know why I did that I've tried this before and it's always failed so I picked up the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 conditioner in exchange of my OGX Argan Oil of Morocco hair treatment and oh my god you guys this destroyed my hair it made it so frizzy and all my curls were destroyed right now my curls are really thriving because I have been using another conditioner that I got from US so I've been using the system professional conditioner and my conditioner is out of stock right now from every website I know but I really need to get my hands on my OGX products even if it's expensive I need to make that pinch in my pocket and get that because all these conditioners have a lot of sulfate in them I tried the sun silk one I tried this one and they just damaged my curls so yeah these conditioners don't work if you have dry frizzy or curly hair so stay away from them even though they are affordable uh, they are not really the best quality uh, that's what I feel it didn't work for me so uh, this was 185 rupees down the drain 
Okay, so the next super super essential purchase that I made is to refill up on my tampons. All my tampons were over. So I use the OB Pro Comfort and I buy them in two variants. This is the regular flow and this is the heavy flow. So I need both of them. I prefer using the heavy flow on my like first, second and third day. And then on my fourth, fifth and sixth, I use the regular flow one. So this is the difference between the heavy flow and the uh, regular flow one. The heavy flow one is much thicker as compared to the regular flow one. Uh, so yeah, I really prefer using a tampon these days because I transitioned long back from using a sanitary pad to a tampon because they are just much more comfortable. I get the worst rashes when I use a pad and I just feel so hot down there when I use a pad. So I just prefer using a tampon. I personally feel you should not discard the idea of using a tampon without actually using it just by the thought of it the thought used to scare me as well that you know you have to put it inside and what if it gets lost but uh, that of course doesn't happen you have a thread hanging down there and if you have access to a bathroom like every two to three hours uh, and you can change your tampon then it's like the ideal thing to do if you if you're going through like a long heavy day of work where you won't have access to a clean bathroom or like at the nights that's when I wear my pad so otherwise if I'm like at home I prefer using a tampon so you're like nice and airy and free and breezy down there and you don't feel hot and don't get those groin rashes because oh my god those rashes are so bad especially when you get them during your period you can't even do anything about it so yeah this was a very very essential buy and uh, before I would get my period I really needed to get my hands on a refill okay so the next product I got is something I've recently fallen in love with this is the Kaya daily pore minimizing toner uh, this is a very very affordable very budget buy toner if you're looking to buy a toner at the drugstore or want to try a toner and you have sensitive skin I really highly recommend this I've been using it for a month so these are like two passes merged into one so one was like previous last month and one is this month so this was something that came in my last month's parcel and I've been using it for a month and it's so gentle so sensitive you can just take a little bit on your palm and like uh, tap it into your skin or take a cotton pad and swipe it across your face whatever you prefer uh, it is alcohol free so it's very very gentle on your face it has cucumber and witch hazel and it's for all skin types so I really have been enjoying using this during the daytime so that my pores are minimized and I sweat less throughout the day and my skin gets less oily throughout the day so yeah this is a budget buy amazing at the drugstore it, it's it says it's 440 but I didn't end up paying that much somewhere around 300 is what I paid because it was on discount on Nika and this is a huge bottle for that price so I absolutely love it you should definitely check it out now we are sort of done with the skincare and the really really essential stuff and we are diving into a more makeup category now this makeup is essential for me I do YouTube videos and I need makeup refills from time to time and in this entire quarantine I have emptied so many of my makeup products so I really needed refills so yeah let's dive into some makeup stuff the first thing I got is a new purchase a new try this is the Maybelline lasting fix makeup setting spray matte finish now my favorite uh, makeup setting spray is the NYX dewy finish one but since this was new on the market and also because it's so affordable it's somewhere around 300 for it says 600 but I think I paid 400 for it and that's why I wanted to try it out since it was new and I tested it out today for the first time and the nozzle on this like the spray is terrible you guys like look at this Okay, it's not that bad. It's like, it's like a soft mist, but I don't know, it's not spritzing much on my face. Like because the nozzle is so tiny, like only certain areas of my face is getting wet. So I feel, I, I'm feeling very weird with this head, uh, setting spray and I don't know if it makes my makeup last. Let me wear this makeup and like I can update you all in my future videos if this really helped my makeup last because it was the first time that I'm wearing it today. But yeah, I really like it. It's a good bottle. It's affordable. It's at the drugstore. So I wanted to test it out. So far, so good. Uh, I need to try it more to tell you all about it. So the next thing I called was a new nail paint color. This is the Nika Nail Enamel in the shade Mink Muffin. I will leave a swatch over here that I left on my Instagram stories. The nail paint I'm currently wearing is by K-Beauty. It's the shade Bittersweet. This is also a beautiful uh, nude color. This is more on the darker side. So it will suit deeper, darker skin tones even better. Uh, but it has a pinky nude color. So it's very, very beautiful. I love the swatch of this. And Nika nail paints do dry out and chip a little faster. But somehow this one is not chipping on me. I feel like there's so much inconsistency with their nail paint formula like some just chip the next day and some don't chip for like a whole week this nail paint did not chip on me for the entire week so I really liked it and yeah Nika nail paints are really affordable this was somewhere around 150 bucks 
So next I had to repurchase my Garnier Micellar Water, the big bottle because of all the makeup I've applied and the makeup I've removed in this quarantine. I definitely needed to buy a repurchase of this one. This is very affordable. This is 400ml for 350 and it's always on discount and it's a great micellar water if you have sensitive skin. And this does an effective cleaning job at a very very minimal price so I love this makeup remover. So this was my next purchase. So I also had to repurchase my Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm because it's an essential. This is my holy grail lip balm. I love the tint that this gives me. The nice juicy lips that I get because of it. It is the color one but this is the cherry kiss. This is the original baby lips okay. Any other variant of baby lips is not as good. It's just not up to the mark. This is my favorite one. I just literally I think I need to buy 10, 20 and keep here because I buy one every single month. So since I've been doing a lot of quarantine experiments, I wanted to get a white kachal or white eyeliner and so I picked up this wet and wild coal crayon poor Oh my god, this is a huge name. I can't do this. Uh, okay, it's just a white eyeliner and I've not yet opened it and I want to open it But you know these packaging on these kachal is so tough dude like Come on, how are we supposed to open this thing? I have literally not used it till now because I have not succeeded in opening it Two thousand years later. Okay, we succeeded. Uh, so this is like a huge pencil. Can you see how long this is? It's super huge, and I don't know how the. F oh my God! The f how will you all see? Uh, this is so creamy, you guys. It's super creamy. I thought it would be like this wooden pencil, very difficult to blend. But I just got it because it was so cheap. It was just like under two hundred bucks. Uh, the price is not written over here. Yeah, there's no pricing on this. I will leave all the details here and the links in the description section. But because it was so affordable and I was really in need of a white eyeliner, uh, I went ahead and got this one. And it is so, so creamy. I'm actually really surprised. I did not expect it to be this good. I still have to use it on my eyes and use it on my face and do some makeup with it. And all of these kind of like fun makeup looks I usually do on Instagram. So once again, if you're not following me there, you should definitely follow me on Instagram for like more of that kind of stuff. So another one of my must-haves that I had to refill was this Lakme Absolute Shine Line Eyeliner. This is a gorgeous eyeliner if you're a beginner or if in general you just need an eyeliner because this brush on this is so nice and so easy to apply with and the formula is great. It sets matte, it's very very long lasting, doesn't smudge at all and it's very affordable. So this is always on discount and I always pick it up at 285 bucks. And I literally run out of it like every two months. It's not because it dries out, it's because this is the only eyeliner I use. And the last product was not an essential. I could have completely skipped out on this but I needed to buy my Nykaa Madelicious Lip Crayon in the shade Jade Rose. This lipstick is one of my absolute favorite nude colors. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous nude color that I can't have enough of this. And I had two. And can you believe it? I've lost both of them in this house. Like, I don't know where they've gone. I've searched every single bag, every single drawer in my house and I can't find both those lipsticks. I don't know if I took it to college and I left it there just before this lockdown or what just happened to my Jade Rose. But it was not an essential but I had to pick it up because I can't go through more months in this 2020 without having my absolute favourite lipstick. This colour is beautiful. Let me give you a swatch right now. Uh, the lipstick I'm wearing right now is Nykaa Mona Lisa, the ultra matte. But I love this colour so let's do this. Okay, since Mona Lisa is so much lighter, this just like deepened it a little bit. But I really, really like this color and this formula is also so gorgeous. It's not the most long wearing crayon formula, but I really like the color and the formulation is comfortable. It's such a great everyday shade and such a great uh, shade to go with so many eye looks. So I absolutely love this lipstick. Highly recommend. If you're not on a budget right now, you can go and splurge on this lipstick. So yeah guys, this completes my Essentials Nykaa haul. I know every single product wasn't an essential but I had an excuse to buy every one of them and I tried to stay in my budget and very very economical while doing this shopping spree. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did then don't forget to hit the like button down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do. I upload every Thursday and Sunday at 5pm. So click on that bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Love you all. Mm -hmm.